Okay, so let's look at this one. I, I like this one uh, a lot. Let's see. Let's determine the moment produced by the force about point O. Moment about a point, right? Moment about a point is R cross F. <clears throat> all of these are vectors. Um, all right. And so that R needs to go from O to F. It needs to go from the point to the force. <clears throat> so let's break it down. R. W what is my R? R needs to go from the point, all right, I want the moment about point O, to the force. So, so we could go from O to A, right, we could go R O to A, uh, and so that's going to be 12K, um, or we can actually go from the point to anywhere on the force, anywhere on the line of action of the force. We could go from the point to anywhere on the line of action of the force, and so I could kind of do R, O, B. I could do, let's see, what if I'm going from O to B, how far does it go in the X, 4 in the I, how far does it go in the Y, uh, 12 in the J, and nothing in the K. So I could, I could use either of these. And it's pretty cool. I, I don't think I'm going to do both, but whichever one I choose right here, why don't y'all do the other one, right? Maybe, maybe stop the, you know... After this problem is over, try to go do the other one. See if you get the same answer. You will, and you should get the exact same answer. Good way to double check your work. <clears throat> All right, so we've got R. We could use either of those. This one probably is, is the easiest, and I, I don't know why, but, but I'm going to choose this one right here. Uh, but I definitely could have chosen the R of 12K. Um, I don't know. I just want to make it a little bit harder for me, I guess. All right, so here's the F. What, what is the F? The F is 2. I can't just plug in 2 right here. It, it's a vector. I need to plug in something I, something J, something K. So I need to break up this 2 kilonewton force into its components. I need to break up this 2 kilonewton force into its components. So you can't forget all the stuff we did uh, at the first of the semester with with uh, vectors and breaking them into their components. Hey, spherical angles, gotta remember, coordinate direction angles. This one is, is like dimensions. This one is, is dimensions. They give you the magnitude and they tell you, well, the direction of it is, you know, goes down 12, goes over 12, goes over four. These are dimensions. What do I do when I see dimensions? I think F equals FU, where U is R over R. Now, this, is a completely different R than these, right? These R's up here were the moment arm. Those were the R's that connected the point to the force. It went from the point to the force. These right here, these are the R's for the unit vector of the force. That would be th these dimensions right here. Don't get your R's mixed up. All right, don't get your R's mixed up. So, so here is, <clears throat> you know, forget that we're going to calculate the moment. This is, is going back a few weeks. If I've got two kilonewtons at this direction, break it up into its components. So I've got two kilonewtons, R over R. R, <clears throat> how far does it go in the X? Four. Uh, how far does it go in the Y? Twelve. How far does it go in the... Uh, Z direction, down 12, divided by its magnitude, 4 squared, 12 squared, 12 squared, take square root. All right, why did I divide this one by its magnitude, but I've been telling you don't divide these by its magnitude? Because these call for an R, but this is, is, is a U. It calls for an R over R, <clears throat> right? So with this one, I'm going back to what we did a long time ago, dimensions. We've got the magnitude times the U, and the U is R over R. That's so why I divided by the R. Units would, would help you out here. You know, you need meters over meters so that your force still has just has the units of kilonewtons. All right, so <clears throat> this force right here, I might run out of room, is 0.4588 in the I plus 1.376 in the J minus 1.376 in the K. All right, that was almost a problem in itself is just getting that force written in its component form. Now I've got that force right here. Now I can do the cross product, the R cross F. I'm going to try to uh, put all this in, keep this on one page. So the moment about O, <clears throat> I, J, K, 
my R was 4, 12, 0. So, so don't get these mixed up, right? This is the R, either this one. I think this one would have been easier if I had just done 12K. Maybe I'll try that one. Uh, but I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do 4I, 12J, 0K. And then the, the force is 0 0.4588, 1.376, negative 1.376. And then I'm going to get my I component minus, get my J component, get my K component. And don't try to combine them. Just leave that moment right there. All right. So <clears throat> let's see here. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm following kind of the wrong... Uh, solution here. All right, my I component would be my I component would be that minus that. It would be four times. Let me see. So no, no, so yes, yes, sorry, sorry. My I component, and, and go back to the the first uh, um, video in the section about three D moments. Uh, however, you do the crossroad, but the, sorry, the I component. I cover that one with my finger. You can't really see that. I cover it with my finger, and so it's that minus that. All right, that makes more sense. All right, so this is uh, 12 times negative 1.376 minus 0 times something. My J component, cover that up, and it's going to be that minus that. So my J component is going to be 4 times negative 1.376 minus zero, and then my K component, <clears throat> I'll do a different color, my K component is going to be uh, ch -ch -ch, that minus that, it's going to be four times 1.376 minus 12 times 0.4588, eight, all right, and there we go, I would get, that's my I, that's my J, that's my K, and so I would get that the moment, about 0, 0.0, caused by this force, is negative 16.5 in the I, positive 5.51 in the J, and then 0. This, this actually comes out to 0 in the K direction. So I guess I don't even have to write that. So nothing in the K. My units, I need units, kilonewton, where the force was in kilonewtons. The dimensions were in meters, kilonewton meters. And there we go, that's the moment. So let's, let's take a step back and look at what we did. First of all, it asked for a moment, and I notice it's moment about a point, and moment about a point is R cross F. So I write moment equals R cross F. Then I ask myself, okay, what is the R? What is the R? What is the R that goes from the point to the line of action of the force, to anywhere on the line of action of the force. I could have used 12K, but I chose to go from, from here to B, just because it's still on the line of action of the force. Go back and maybe look through at this and see what you would have gotten if you had used 0, 0, 0012. 0, 0012. You should get the same exact value. Right here, should get the same exact value. Uh, but anyway, I chose an R that goes from the point to the force. And then the force, I can't just plug in two. Got to plug in something I, something J, something K. So I had to go back and remember everything we did with dimensions, breaking that two into its components. So here I broke this into its components. Then I did my cross product. Then I did my cross product. All right, box it in, put units.